Hey guys, so the big thing that came out last week that I wasn't going to talk about because I felt like it wasn't necessary, but it's been a couple of days and this thing keeps being brought up so I felt like I need to make a video just to get my thoughts out there and that is towards the no joke policy that supposedly the WB has put in place for the DC Cinematic Universe. This news is coming from a website called hitfix.com and it's coming from this guy named Drew and Drew in the past has been right when it comes to some news. He's been right about Jason Momoa as Aquaman even though it hasn't been officially confirmed. I think we're at the point that Yes, Jason Momoa is going to be Aquaman. But he's been wrong in the past in regards to the WB and DC Comics as well. He actually released the news about Joseph Gordon-Levitt being the new Batman and that ended up not being true because obviously Ben Affleck is a new Batman. So he's been right and wrong when it comes to his, you know, scoops that he has in regards to the WB and DC Comics. So this news was reported and when it was reported, I didn't give any, you know, mind to it. I didn't even think it was remotely true in any sense, just because of the way the article was set up. It felt like a very, like, clickbait type of article to get people to click on the article and for them to get hits on their website. If you read the article, it kind of does the whole thing of the DC versus Marvel thing. It kind of gives me that whole feeling that they're just doing it to create some kind of conflict, to create some kind of drama within the community of comic book movie fans. Now I personally don't believe this to be 100% accurate because number one, again this guy's been wrong in the past. Number two, nobody from the WB has remotely confirmed this to be true. And number three, DC has too many characters that are very humorous, jokey base. You can't make a Shazam movie, which is something that they're working on doing, and not have jokes in it because Shazam is an immature character. He's an immature superhero. He's a kid in a man's body, in a superhero's body. So he's very immature in a lot of ways and you can't have a Shazam movie without humor, without jokes. There's so many characters in the DC Universe that are very humorous based for them to actually set a role of no jokes. It just doesn't make any sense. It's basically them putting a rule out there that no flying or no superheroes in costumes, even though they have a lineup of superheroes that fly and wear costumes. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me that they would even put a role like that. Now, the other thing that makes me believe this is not remotely true is that Seth Rogen himself came out on Twitter and debunked this as being false. He basically called this whole thing complete bullshit. And I believe him because number one, Seth Rogen is writing for DC Comics when it comes to Preacher, which is going to be a TV series on AMC. Yes, it's not directly attached to the cinematic universe, but he still has a more inside scoop of this than I would say some guy on a website does. And the other thing in regards to Seth Rogen is that he's friends with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. They work together before, they're working together again in a future project. For those who n don't know, Joseph Gordon-Levitt is working on Sandman. Sandman is one of the characters in the DC Cinematic Universe. He is one of the characters that's going to literally be in this DC Cinematic Universe. So Joseph Gordon-Levitt has that inside scoop. He is actually writing, he's producing Sandman, so he knows a lot more than again, than a guy from a website. So if Seth Rogen wanted to see whether or not this was true or not, he would literally just have to call or text or email or Facebook or tweet Joseph Go to Levitt or something and ask him, yo, is this remotely true? So once again, I believe this whole no joke policy thing isn't accurate in a lot of ways and I personally won't really believe it until WB themselves come out and, re and confirm it or somebody attached to the DC Cinematic Universe comes out and confirms it as being true. So till then, I do not believe the whole no joke thing for the reasons I already stated and for the fact that DC has way too many characters that are very jokey and humorous that will not be able to survive as a character in the DC Cinematic Universe without no jokes. Like, they need to be jokey characters because you have to have that balance, especially if they're going to do a Justice League movie, they have to have that balance between the jokey characters, the more serious characters, 
and so on. I'm curious to hear what you guys think about this no joke policy. Do you believe it to be true? And if you do believe it to be true, why do you believe it to be true? Let me know in the comment section below. We can have a discussion about it. So that's basically my thoughts on this no joke policy that supposedly is running rampant on the internet as being true even though it hasn't been confirmed by anybody who is remotely attached to WB or the DC Cinematic Universe. So that's my thoughts on that. Thank you all for watching and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hey guys, so the big thing that came out yesterday is that it's been confirmed that the WB has registered four domain names for four different DC Cinematic Universe movies and they are as follows. JusticeLeagueFilm.com, ShazamMovie.com, WonderWomanTheMovie.com, and AquamanMovie.com. So those four domains have been officially registered under the WB 